So here I am again, um, looking at more gotcha stuff because what else am I gonna do? And hopefully my audio is better this time. I think last time what happened was it was picking up my um, computer's like default mic with like the USB mic I have, so it sounded like extra disgusting. Um, so yeah, shouldn't have that problem. Still might not sound great because my mic is like thirty dollars. <laughs> Because I'm cheap, and I don't feel like buying a big boy mic that I barely use. Um, but who knows, maybe one day I'll use it. Um, it's almost... Well, in the game, it's already March, but it's almost March here. So I'll have to change the wallpaper. I don't know what I'll change it to. Anything, something green. Mm. Anyway, so what we're here to look at is some... Oh, before I do that, here's an update. On how many Horus weapons I got. Two. One of each, that's it. <laughs> uh, but I'm only, I've only been hosting it myself. I think I did like maybe 10 other ones just one day, but I've just been hosting it myself every day. It, not really, I just solo it. Um, so, I mean, it's not terrible. Could be better though. It's, I think that it's sort of similar to, at least I'm not looking at the numbers, but it's sort of similar to the Magna 2, but maybe a little less, the drop rate, I mean. Um, but you, I don't, you'd have to look at the actual numbers. That's just from guessing. Um, so... <gasps> I always yawn when I do this, I don't know why. Anyway, so... Yeah, let's take a look at some of the new characters. I thought it was gonna be a dragon um, this time, which I'm kinda glad it isn't because I have absolutely no funds left. Um, I just really need Kumbira, and still, no Kumbira. And I really want her. I don't care about Anila. <sighs> I don't know why they didn't do all the Zodiacs at New Year's like they did last year. That, that was great. It, I expected them to do that again. They didn't. I was like, what the fuck? Because I would have gotten Kamira probably when I sparked for this one. But nope. Nope. And I still need Poseidon. Hopefully, maybe in the summer, when Water Guild War is coming up, they'll have him raid up. So anyway, speaking of raid up, let's take a look at what's actually raided up. It's a light weapon, because Light Guild War is coming up. Um, here. Yeah. So the new characters are already up, and Cagliostro's weapon is already up, which... Isn't, like, priority, I would say. I mean, she's good, yeah. Unless you're really unlucky, but in my experience. The other raid-ups, usually you get like, that one pretty quickly. But you never know. Um, so first is Freyr. Nice art. 
I wouldn't go so far as to say I simp, but I appreciate. I appreciate. Um, so anyway. So... HP, 1200. Attack, 10,000. That's quite a bit. Um, wind. Horse. Yeah, that sounds about right. Anyway. Um, so the charge attack is regular, no wind damage, massive, um, and gains three sacred blades. Um, so starts the battle with three sacred blades. The max is three, so he get, he remaxes them from using a charge attack. Interesting. Um, and the, every time... He has at least one. He triple attacks. So as long as you had those, he triple attacks all the time. So it sounds like, I mean, if he ogies enough, he'll just triple attack all the time. And when he's main ally, he refreshes. Which is cool. So that's all the time. Nice. I've been looking for a refresh for my wind because I don't have a sleepy wind to see how good it really is. Okay, let's see, refresh, a thousand, uh, that's, I mean, that's not, that's pretty good, I guess, I mean, every turn, the cap is a thousand, so, I mean, it's not terrible, I mean, it's, yeah, whatever, average, I guess. Um, so anyway, so the second, the first skill is Volunder's Sword. Six hit, wind damage, and then attacks twice each turn. The cooldown is zero turns. It consumes two of the blades, so you still, oh, so it lasts one turn. You still can triple attack, though. So you do six attacks in one turn, I guess. Because it still leaves one. Um, but then if you use Yingling Force, then it consumes one, so then you have zero. But the cooldown is zero for these. Which is interesting. So the Yingling Force is three hit, wind damage to all the foes, hit two attack and defense, Remove one buff. Okay. So doing this, doing these two, so if you full auto, it'll hit these. Um, and you'll consume all the blades, so you won't, um, triple attack. But when you OG, you'll re-get them, but then you will probably keep using these, because the cooldown is zero. Huh. Interesting. Um, so, third skill is Alfheimer. Boost the wind allies, attack specs, defense specs, CA damage, chain burst specs, and debuff success rate. Debuff immunity for one time, dispel cancel effect once, and can't recast. So lots of nice buffs. Mm, that's the weapon. Stamina. Yeah. Not not worth dealing with. Um. So this is interesting. Because you can triple attack all the time, but these basically you can hit all the time. And they'll consume it. But then when you... So you want to charge attack a lot. As with a lot of the new characters, you want to charge attack a lot. Um, so, I mean, I can see him being used for, like, burst. 
I mean, there's probably better ones for that, but I mean, technically, if you have this and you don't use this, you have this. So you can hit this and get a bunch of buffs. Hit this and attack six times, basically. So, I mean, it's possible to use him for burst. But, I mean, I could also see him for like full auto, though. But, you know, consuming these, you wouldn't really triple attack all the time. But if you have a team where he can OD a lot, he'll just keep it. He'll keep destroying with these skills. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. Eh? Because he'll just keep doing skill damage. Um, so, I mean, I could see him... Let's, let's look at my parties. I could technically use him in this. My Kengo. And maybe put him here. Or I guess here. I mean... She did these both triple attack, and I like her, so I don't want to take her out. <laughs> but I could put him here, so then... Yeah, we could also put him in my skill team. Where do you go? This. Um, could also put him there. I mean, maybe replace it, replace Enyo? Maybe? Oh. This is my luchador. Um, I could put him there too, maybe replace Monkey. So, I mean, he could be used in a few ways, and I'm sure there's better ones for Lucha, though. I mean, Summer Core was good. She's just one, though. She's more buff, I think. Um, is he placed in the list yet? I don't think probably not. He's probably high up though. He's probably around here somewhere. Up in here. Yeah, see some wait, summer core was all the way up there now? Damn. I didn't know she was all the way up there. Dang. Well, let's see. Yeah, I only this one and her are the ones I don't have. <laughs> In the 10 slot. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so he's pretty good. Definitely worth a subtix, I would say. Um, not worth sparking for, though, because, I mean, subtix, like, why? Um, so Sylph is fire. Her HP is 1600. Her attack is 7200. Um, her style is special, she's a primal, and she's a staff specialty. So her charge attack is Falter Tans. I'm probably butchering all these names. <laughs> and I'm usually good at pronouncing stuff. Um, but anyway, so it's massive fire damage, regular damage, um, and delay. So that automatically tells me she's good for harder stuff, because you... Never go wrong with delay in the hard stuff. Always, always helpful. And it also risks. So, yeah, definitely a harder raid character. Um, she has delay. And she restores HP to allies. And she also will buff the allies. Um, and also debuff. So she's pretty good. Uh, let's look at the weapon. La Sylphide. So it's more a charge attack focused one. But yeah, it's not, not too important. Usually you want to only use damage bars on um, Grand weapons. I mean, some some normal weapons, especially seasonal ones, are good. But usually, just save them for grand weapons, and especially ones that you want to make a grid out of, like a primal grid. I mean, that usually I don't. I just use them on ones here and there that I use for like main hands or like PNS, um, because it's just too too broken. I have to use it. 
Um, so yeah. Those are the two new ones. I realize I have basically every character on this banner. Except Poseidon and Eugen. Or Eugen. Eugen's weapon is pretty good. I mean, he himself is a... Yeah. Dated. Um, but anyway, the rest of the banner, I mean... Her weapon's good. Nah, no one cares. Eh, okay. Used to be better. Alright. I mean, the wind dagger is not as useful. Um, his weapon's used still. Not ri no one cares. Um, eh, the weapon's not bad. Eh, her weapon was used. I don't know if it's really used as much, though. I mean, she's cool. But she don't really do too much anymore, I guess. She's not bad, though. Eh, no one really cares. No one cares. Weapon is still good. He's pretty good for harder stuff. Ray is just great. Especially for, um... Luchador, um, and stuff like that, um, Burst, and Akasha Raid, Farming, um, Racing, that's the word I was looking for, no one cares, and the weapons sometimes, maybe you want it, eh, yeah. I mean the character is pretty good, you can't really, but I mean not worth a spark I would say. Um, Narvaez, just like, if you don't have her, I'm sorry. Um, but Wind Guild War happened already, so, I mean, not the biggest priority. Her damage, though, is crazy. Is crazy. Poseidon is, I mean... I mean, he's a 10, when, when I, in multiple ways. What am I supposed to say about that? I don't have him. It really bothers me. Or I don't have Lancelot either. I, what is with the water people? I don't have, I don't have Europa. Why? I don't know. Fediel is really good too, especially if you have Leech. Um, Wilnos is pretty good too. Not as good as Fedio, I guess, but still good, pretty good. Anila's alright. She's better from Magna teams, I'm pretty sure. Um, but she's kind of dated. But I mean, she's not terrible. I still sometimes would use her. And Sidala is good for bursting in Earth. Um. Yeah, good for bursting. And she's a there only around for this year, so you know, eventually at some point you're gonna wanna get them if you haven't. Um, unless otherwise you gotta wait two years. Is it two or one? One? I don't, I don't the math. I, we are going to have to wait until 2024 for them. That's what happens with the Zodiacs. They disappear the year for a year after. And then they come back. And they kind of get cycled around. Which is why I still can't get Kubira. Because she's not always here. You have to wait until the specific month that they're there. And you can't really predict it. I don't think it's like a set rotation. Um... So, yeah. Get them while they're th always there. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. It's just make your life easier. Anyway, so yeah, that's the rest of the banner. So that's, that's basically... Yep. That art is really cool. Um, that's about all I have to say about that um i have anxiety thinking about which which of these people are they're going to turn into a 
grand. <laughs> and if I should... <sighs> what am I gonna do when they release them? Uh... We'll think about it when it happens. Anyway... Yeah, I don't know what to say. Anyway... That's my review. See you next month. Or... This month, I guess, because when this uploads, it'll be March, so yep. Have fun farming. Um, read the event because it sounds pretty interesting. A lot of um, histor historical world building stuff, so read it. Um, and yeah, hopefully you get something good in roulette and Annie ticks and what? What's the other one? The the ticket thingies. Yeah, so hopefully we all get something good, but you never know. It's rigged, so... Have fun farming. See you later.